All right, the Mata Karapi pot pattern is uh, its one of my favorite uh, panfish, bluegill, crappie, uh, white bass type patterns. Um, it's uh, streamlined, it sinks pretty fast, uh, it has kind of a weed guard in it, and it's just all around buggy looking. And um, so anyway, its uh, I've been using it for the last few years, and it's, it's again, one of my favorite ones. So I, I start out with a... 2x long size 10 uh, streamer hook and I'm just going to use some uh, gel spun thread this is 100 denier and I like this because it helps keep my uh, barbell eyes on there so I'm going to go ahead and start the thread and put my barbell eye on and the barbell eye is going to be these ones that have the color in them it doesn't really matter but that's kind of like to use Again, the nice thing with the gel spun is you can really just wrench that down. Again, the other reason this is one of my favorites is because of the durability. With the wire, you catch a ton of little bluegill or little crappie, and this can definitely stand up to the teeth. Okay, once the barbell eye is in, I'm going to go ahead and tie in my wire. And for this pattern, I'm going to use two different types of wire. I'm going to use some uh, UTC medium chartreuse and some medium wine. And what I usually do, and I kind of mix this up depending on the colors that I want, um, is I'm going to use two of the lighter color and one of the darker color and in, the, in the way I wrap it. So I'm going to go ahead and tie those in. Okay, so the way I do this with the wire is I just take the three strands and just bunch them together close to the barbell eyes and then I'm just going to wrap backwards to try to keep the wires as uh, even as possible so that they don't cross over or uh, wrap around the hook and as soon as I'm back to the back I start to cinch this a little bit tighter again why GSP is really nice and then I'm going to go forward and you may want to unwind your thread so that it lays a flat blade base. That's the other nice thing about this gel spun, is that you can lay a really nice uh, even thread base to wrap your wire or any other material up. So I'm just basically going to take these wires, and you have to keep a hold on them pretty tight so that they lay flat along the thread base, and just wrap them up the body. And then right at the end, leave a little bit of space before you tie this off because we need to tie in our throat slash weed guard as well as our legs. Now uh, another note you never want to use your good scissors to chop your wire so I grab my handy dandy utilities and snip the wire. Okay now for the legs I'm just going to use some uh, silicone leg material. What I do is I just take the two pieces and put that on the top and that makes the two top ones kind of stand out and the two bottom ones will lay down a little bit more in line with the body and you can use just any rubber legs you could even use the, the white ones and paint them up or whatever and I usually go body length on these guys and then trim the other ones to match and now I'm going to use my uh, collar and so for the collar what I'm going to use is a little bit of chartreuse Congo hair. And this is from Fly Tires Dungeon. Some black Congo hair and some H2O Flash, which is kind of a mixture of uh, like your Crystal Flash as well as some other uh, synthetics. Gives it good body plus good shine. And what I do is I just lay that down and I'll cut this to to match. You want to match the body length here. Again with this GSP you can really wrench this stuff down. Okay, and I'm going to get in there really tight and clip that. And then lengthwise I want this to extend just beyond the bend of the hook or just to the bend of the hook. And then 
do a few more secure wraps around the body of that Congo hair. And then we'll just finish off with a whip finish. Or two. And there we have our Mata Crappy. Again, you can mix the colors up on these to be whatever you want with different wire, different sizes, different eye colors, whatever you want. And uh, it's a really great pattern. Okay, you ready? Mata Crappy. Curtis fishing is very warm. Another walleye? Another walleye. fish dude Curtis has sold his soul to the devil those are nice ones too he's also mastered the ninja release People got to eat. Come on, guys.